Two Box by Key is a clothing boutique that has been around since 2018, but it isn't until now. Shoe Box owner Kiana Baker finally has her very first brick and mortar location. The historic Kenton neighborhood is known for being a hub for entrepreneurs. Kenton is a majority women owned small businesses. They also take pride in welcoming new faces with different backgrounds, like Kiana Baker. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur, and then once I got the business started, I knew that like in the long term that this is what I wanted to do. Kiana is the owner of Shoebox by Key, a new clothing boutique store off North Denver in Schofield. She's had the business since 2018, but finally decided to open up her first brick and mortar after years of pop-up events. I'm living out my dream, like this was a dream of mine for a long time, and so for me to be able to say, I'm actually in it. It feels really good. But the road to get here wasn't easy between health issues, a flood in her home and a delay in opening her store. But with the help of her friends, it was all made possible. Her presence inspires um, not just young black girls, but um, young girls who are aspiring to pursue their dreams, who may not have the courage to do that. They can see it and find it in her. So she's a lovely human being and we're delighted to have her. Maureen Bachman is the president of the Kenton Business Association. She is also the owner of the Kenton Antiques, which is a few doors down from Kiana's storefront. She says this edition has struck a chord in her heart and hopes to see more diversity among business owners in Kenton. I'm like super emotional about it. Like it's big, like to be in a neighborhood like this that like should have more and more. And to see it happening is like awesome. Like we're really trying to foster that here in this community. Now, Kiana tells me she hopes to bring a safe and welcoming environment for all customers. And now there are a few other projects in the works for the store. She plans to have a grand opening sometime in March. Daisy Caballero, KGW News.